This video is sponsored by Namira Technologies, your power sports piston and gasket supplier since 2001. They have a huge selection of motocross, ATV, two- and four-stroke applications at prices that'll make you smile all the way to the checkered flag. Go to Namura.com. that's N-A-M-U-R-A.com to see what's up. Hi, I'm Scott Atkins with Pro SX MX Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to properly change a tire. First thing you want to do is remove the valve cap and then remove the valve stem. Next, you want to take a 12 or a 10 millimeter wrench, depending on what nut you have on the rim lock, and release the, uh, the rim lock here. A ratchet wrench really helps speed things up. Once you have the rim lock loose, make sure it's nice and free in the rim. And then you want to remove the tire from the seat on both sides. Next, you'll take two tire irons. And I like to start opposite from me. And pull in on the tire spoons rather than here and try to push. So I'll come over both hands and work the tire up over the rim. Then on the opposite side I want to make sure that stays down in the rim. And then continue this process on around. Once you have that done, you want to flip the whole tire assembly and repeat the same process on this side. Once that is complete, then you'll be able to simply push the tire down and off of the rim. Just be careful it doesn't hang up on the rim lock. And you'll just push the tire down and off of the rim. Next, I like to start with the disc side up. Um, that way when you're changing it, if you do slip a little bit, you may not get your hand into the, into the sprocket. Now that you have the tire removed from the rim, the first step in when we start to install this Pirelli MX32, first I like to put baby powder into the, rim, into the tire and then roll that around. Make sure we have good even coverage. And the baby powder acts as a lubricant for the tube. Then we'll install the tube into the tire. And we'll put some air into the tube to force it back into the tire. The next step is we need to lube the bead where the tire goes down onto the rim.
Then the next thing you want to check is always pay attention, uh, pay close attention and make sure that the tire is not directional. If your tire is directional, you have to put it on the right way. So next I'll start with, go ahead and getting my tube in. And the rim lock. Put a nut on it just to secure the tube. And then you'll take your tire irons and you're only going to put the bottom half on. Once the bottom half is installed, I like to start at my rim lock, push the rim lock in. Uh, once you push the rim lock in, put your tire spoon in, it does two things. It holds the tube back out of the way and it also holds the rim lock nice and free. Once you have the first tire spoon in, you can work it around and put your tire on. Then we'll go ahead and air up the tube and make sure that the tire seats to the rim. Then just check Make sure the tire seats all the way around on both sides. Once complete, go ahead and put your valve stem in. Air it back up. Then you can tighten down your rim lock last. And that's how to properly install a Pirelli MX-32.